Hey, this is Mr. and this is AP Chemistry 2025, the May exam for your response question number six. Let's get to our solution. This was an electrochemistry problem. We wanted to write the half reaction for the oxidation that occurs at the anode. Which reaction are we going to flip for this favorable reaction? We're going to flip the aluminum reaction. So you needed to write the aluminum reaction for that half reaction that occurs at the anode. The zinc is going to be the cathode. And so now we want to combine our two equations together, which means the aluminum solid is going to react with zinc ions to produce aluminum ions and zinc solid. You have to balance the number of electrons, which means you're going to multiply the zincs by three and the aluminums by two. And that's part A and part B. Part C was very interesting. They gave us 50 grams of each electrode, the aluminum and the zinc. And it allows to run for some period of time. And they want to know which electrode changed the mass the most. And they wanted us to justify our answer with a calculation. So I did this a little bit different than maybe some students did it. I found the number of moles of aluminum, the, mol the moles of zinc. And then I said, let's say it reacts for a little bit of time. And so let's say we use 2, 0.2 moles of the aluminum. We made 0.3 moles of the zinc. That's our molar ratio right there, which means I then... If we use 0.2 moles, we went from 1.85 moles down to 1.68, which means we actually just went to 45.33 grams of aluminum. We only used 4.67 grams of aluminum is changed. If 0.3 moles of zinc are made in this molar ratio, then that's 69.63 grams of zinc. That means we went from 50 grams up to 69.63 grams. That's a change of 19.63 grams the zinc changes more, we're producing more moles, and the zinc is 65 grams for every one mole. So we're making more, that changes the mass more. And then part D was kind of an interesting question. They didn't give tons of information. It maybe tripped some students up thinking that they had to keep the zinc the same as, as the cathode, but we're going to use the zinc as the anode, which means that flips the positive 0.76. We're going to react it with gold at positive 1.50, and that gives us a maximum, maximum voltage of 2.26 volts. I hope that helped. That was first response question number six.